Welcome back to another cooking video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to turn an apple into a swan. Now, I actually saw how to make this on YouTube, but I thought it was such a great idea, I have to make a video and put it on my website. So, okay, so I hope you haven't seen this before. Let's get going. Let's do this. Roll your apple across the bed and then cut. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't do it like that. You just place your apple onto a bench and then cut at a slight angle, about 70 degrees, going through the middle and ending up on the other side of the apple. So you have the bottom half like this and just place it down and put chopsticks. Now the chopsticks is so you don't cut all the way through. And then a little bit off center, you just cut all the way down until you reach the chopsticks. Then cut across against the chopsticks until you remove a little bit less than the quarter of the apple. And then you take that quarter and you make the same cuts again, about a centimeter in. You just cut into it till the chopsticks, then turn and do the same cut, removing a piece, just like this. And then you place the other piece back on the apple and it fits perfectly. And then just do the same cut again with this piece of the apple. You just slice into it until the chopsticks and then turn, slice into it until the chopsticks and then you just remove the chunk and place it on the apple and then again cut into it just like you did before until you can't anymore. So this will be the last time. Okay, now I'm just going to move it out and put it back and then place it back on the apple. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side, slightly off center. You just cut into it, and then again across the chopsticks, but I'm just gonna turn around because I'm right-handed. Now slide the knife across the chopsticks until you meet your other cut. And then you separate that off. And now again, do the exact same cuts as you did before. I'm just gonna fast forward over this because you guys already know what to do at this stage. All right, so just keep cutting them and placing them back on the apple, just like this. Okay, and once you've done that, you've got the apple fully cut, and now you can uh, separate the wings of the swan just by sliding them out, just like this. And then slide out the other side. Great. And that's the wings of your swan done. Now, to put the head in, you're gonna wanna make a slit here at the bottom of the apple just to be able to add your head in later. So just make one cut and another cut at a slight angle. And I'm just feeling that I need to make another couple of cuts just to join those cuts on the inside just to make it pop out. Okay, there we go. Now I've got my slit. Here you can see where I can place my head into. All right, now to make the head. You take the top of the apple and you just slice off until you can get a nice view of those curves. And then you just slice a little sliver off just like this, about half a centimeter to one centimeter thick. 1 -fifth of an inch to 2 -fifth of an inch thick. And then just take the little stalk out and cut it in half. Then you just take this half and you want to shape it into the head of a swan. So I'm just going to cut where I believe the beak of the swan will be and the neckline. There we go. And I'm just going to do two more cuts just to make it fit into the other apple pieces. Just like this and like that. Okay, great. Now I'm just going to take this and place it into the other apple body I cut before. Okay, there we go. Just slide it into the slot I cut out before. Great. Nearly done now. Super easy. Just take a seed of the apple and just place it into the side where you believe the eye will be. And that's pretty much it. Just take another seed and do the other side. And there you go, a beautiful little apple swan that you can add to your sushi platters or any other food, or just if you have some extra apples and want to play around. All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please check out makesushi.com for more of my garnish tutorials and some sushi also. Thank you for watching. See you guys next week. Goodbye.